What's up everybody? It's your boy Grab Me a Cold One. Hope everyone had a great Christmas. It is almost the New Year's. My birthday was actually yesterday, the 29th of December, and I'm I am recovering from my nighttime shenanigans and I wanted to get on and get a video going for you guys today what I got planned for you today is some drift events and I am showcasing the Nissan Silvia um, this car um, I, I decided to go ahead and get it customized for you because I do think that as far as a drift build if you want a car that is specifically for drifting I honestly think that the RX-7 or the Sylvia is going to be your best choices. Um, if you want to drift and get easy points, get the best points and win the events easily, I think the RX-7 is your best bet. For some reason, the RX-7, I don't know what it is, but it's just a drift machine. Like You start sliding and the counter system that they use just keeps counting and the points just keep racking up. So um, I may do a video on that. Uh, the Sylvia is a little bit more um, of a traditional build, but it is right-hand drive. It is, it's beautiful. Um, I got the Rocket Bunny kit on. This one I went all out. I decided to go crazy and literally make it as much of a drift machine as I could. Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate your support. Thanks for watching. And uh, I'm going to get out of here. Let's go do some events. All right. We are up here at the area where I need to be. All right. Bird's Eye Drift Trial. Says that the recommended performance is 310. I am at 252. I'm not too concerned about that. Let's go ahead and uh, get it going. And let's uh, see how we do. Actually... Because I'm in daytime, I forgot that I can change the car. So I may do a run with the Sylvia, and I may do a run with the RX-7 just to show you guys some of the that you can have with the RX-7 because the RX-7 truly is a drift machine. All right, so I'm not going to change cars just yet. I'm going to go ahead and jump in and get this going. Right. sliding pretty good so far. Um, I, I really don't know what the best setup is. I wish I could tell you guys the secret formula for drifting, because I know that drifting is a little bit more challenging in this game than in other ones, but I, I know a lot of content creators that are putting videos on YouTube, they say that for a while in the beginning they were like don't use drift parts use regular parts uh, because the drift parts in this game they make you oversteer a lot and honestly man it's so crazy and especially if you're using that car for a night out uh, if the cops get involved with you at all and you have drift parts you are done straight up your car does not have the acceleration you need it doesn't have to grip you can't skip and dip and get away from the cops the way you need to if you have a race build. Um, I, at this moment, am using regular race build uh, parts. So I have, of course, I have super plus performance parts in and stuff like that. And I have uh, regular race tires. So I have, I think I have super uh, race 
Actually, no, not even race tires. I just have tires, like just straight up. I think there's different types of tires you can buy. You can buy like tires, and you can buy race tires. I have super tires, and that's it. For my suspension, I have just super s suspension. No, race suspension. I think I do have a race suspension. So yeah, I do have a race suspension, but my tires are just regular tires at the super level. So I find that this method that I have set up right now, as far as the parts, it, it works for me. It's what I like. I have the grip when it's necessary for me to have the grip if I need to do a race, but I can still force it into a drift if, if necessary. Um, and that works for me. Um, if I have drift parts, I, I just can't make it work. Not for me. I, I, I can't make it work. So, that was a run with the Sylvia. I think my score was like 250k, something like that. I'm going to go back to the top. We're going to start it over again with the RX-7. So, I'm going to change cars. Alright, this is my RX-7, you see I am at 275, and again, you can look at my specs. My dot, if you look at the left corner there, where it's off-road, drift, road, race, showing you how your car is spec you see I'm right at road. I'm not even at race, I'm not at drift, I'm just right there in the middle at road. So, I think on this build, I have uh, race parts, I have... I think of race suspension and I think I have either race tires I think yeah I think on this one I have race tires I could be wrong but I think this one I set up for racing but the RX-7 for some reason just it's very easy for it to break traction in the rear so you can really just slide over so I think my, my points are going to be higher on this one just because the RX-7 is easier to slide around so I'm going to go ahead and start this event and see what we get to happen. <laughs> Those rims are so deep. <laughs> right? That rotary engine is popping, son. All right. I mean, immediately, you can see the angle. Like, it's just effortless. The RX-7, I think... Yeah, hands down, the RX-7, I think, is the ultimate drift car. There's a reason why when you start doing drift events in this video game, the first car you see from the guy that gets you into drifting, he drives an RX-7, and I think that they, they have the RX-7 programmed as your... And I think this is the true RX-7. This is the true FD right-hand drive Spirit R. So this is a true Japanese import RX-7. This is this is the real deal. Let's see if I can keep it on the road here. just keep counting. They just keep going up. It's effortless. I'm not even trying to force an angle out, and I have no drift parts on this car. There are no drift parts on this car. At all. The points just keep coming. I, I think the RX-7 definitely is the better drift car to have. I'm at the point now where I have a couple of different cars that I can play with. Um, I think I'm going to use the RX-7 specifically for a drift car. Because, and I do have quite a few performance parts on this car. And this car is very fast. It'll go 180 plus miles per hour. I can do a bunch of different races with it. However, I think it was last night. If it wasn't last night, the night before... 
I wonder if I have a video of this that I can upload for you guys, but I was doing some nighttime events. I had a bunch of different races I had did. I did a level three heat race. I did a level heat five race, all of this. And I ended up getting busted. I lost everything. And the reason why I got busted is because I was zooming, going as fast as I could down a straightaway. I was doing 190 and the car broke traction. And yeah, I can I can modify my uh what is it called? I can go, you know, right button on the D-pad, my live tuning, I can adjust my downforce, low, high, all of the stuff. You see I even have my downforce more towards high. Um but long story short, the car broke traction. It started sliding out of control. And I don't know what, what caused it. Um, the cops pinned me down. They got me. Um, even with super grippy parts, track differential, track tires, I'm sure this car would still break traction. I don't really, that's just my speculation, just because I have race parts. And I think I have like race tires or track tires on here already. And this is with the car being grippy, it just still breaks traction. So I'm going to use the RX-7 as my drift car. Um, I do like the Sylvia. The RX-7 is definitely a classic. It's one that I, I enjoy a lot. Um, hopefully this video helps you guys out. Hopefully it's something you enjoy. I may even do a video where I spec a car out with specific drift parts and see how that that goes I haven't done it yet all I know is that anytime I've ever done any sort of build with any drift parts on it the car just it just rides like doo-doo it really does so um, I might do that. that that'll be a cool video that'll come up shortly but again hope everyone had a good holiday season had a good Christmas Hope everyone is looking forward to their New Year's. Happy New Year's to you. If I don't catch you on this video, I will catch you on the next one. Until then, grab another cold one.